Well, here we are again, yet another Friday at 12.15. I was just telling Polly, I said, the weekend had just ended last week, and I said, watch, it will be back again in no time, and it is. Time is just going way too fast for some reason. Even though it seems like it's slow, things are dragging with our world problems, but it does go fast. So, instead of a prayer this week, I thought I'd just give you Sandy's thoughts. So my thoughts are, as we get older, there are some things we do, probably not even consciously, but those are things that we don't need to do. And one of them is to think back to not live in the past, but don't think about the past because as we age, things change. Could be our our hair, our hair, our weight, the way we look, the way we are. Can't look back because what was, was. We have to rejoice and hold on to the new. Because that's what life is about, it's a circle of life. We get older, and as I've said before on my blogs, I used to say when I got older, oh, another birthday. You know how kids are excited about their birthdays and I wouldn't be about mine. Until once my friend and her friend took me out for my 30th birthday. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> if only. <laughs> and her friend, he said, why are you so, so bummed out about your birthday? Oh my gosh, I'm already 30. And this gentleman, I believe, was probably already close to 60. And he says, would you like the alternative? And I'm like, what? He says, the alternative to not, not being 30. I'm like, what do you mean? He says, well, if you're not able to celebrate another birthday, that would mean you're dead. And that just smacked me right into place. And I would embrace birthdays. It's something we need to do. Because we can't live in the past because it's already gone. And the way it is now, I used to always think we could look toward the future, but the way I live is one day at a time, sometimes one minute at a time. And don't be afraid to walk by that mirror and look at yourself, because obviously we change, and our looks change, and everything changes. So we may find some gray hairs, and we may find some crow's feet, or... Even there's, when women get older, your eyelid kind of droops. But check with your doctor because that can be a bad sign. Um, but um, some people may have flabby arms. Some people may get a stomach and think, where did this come from? Embrace the change. Be fortunate that you're able to be another year older. And I always reflect on that in December. My birthday's on the 26th. So I just start thinking about it, and especially lately, as the last almost two years, I am so lucky to be alive. Hope I, hope I get many more years, but you don't know. So when things get to you or bother you or overwhelm you, you're not who you were at 20. And you might not be able to do things as fast or as much or the same way, but it doesn't matter. Embrace who you are now. And don't let people look at you and say, Oh, well, you're such and such age and you can't do that. If you're lucky to be healthy enough, do what you used to do. I know a lot of us have health problems, but if we can still do things like, you know, I like to take a walk. If I can still do it, I'm going to do it. It doesn't matter if you're 20 or 50. If you're healthy enough to take a walk and you used to, or I used to hike, I wish I could do that, but not the way the world is. But just march on forward and just take everything slowly, one step at a time, and things will get done. Because life does change. I think of my mom, she was, 
She was really, she had a lot of energy, boy. At age 70, 70 something, she could run. She could run circles around me, even back then. And we're all, all not that blessed. We're not all blessed to have perfect skin, perfect hair. Or have a lot of money to have a facelift, which I wouldn't do even if I had the money. But we have what we have, and that's what we work with. So that is my wish for you today at my 12.15 Eastern Time little message and or prayer. I hope that gave you some comfort in helping you find that Christmas spirit or whatever holiday you celebrate. So for now, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, share. Sharing is caring. Don't forget to pay for it. If you'll spend your heart, Polly's heart, and my heart. If you have those bell ringers, put in a little money in there. I saw them at my store. I, they weren't out last year, but they were this year. Or they are this year. Be kind to people because you don't know what they're going through. Be nice to yourself. Give yourself grace. And most importantly, stay safe. Bye for now.